I'm Tom Salway for Sense Media and I'm here with Philip Gayens of Xenomatics. Good morning, Philip. How are you? Good morning, Tom. I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Very good. So tell me a little bit about the company. What do Xenomatics do exactly? Xenomatics is a company developing solid-state uh, LiDAR. Uh, we have a unique concept for LiDAR. Uh, we have started to develop that technology uh, in uh, 2012. Uh, we have put first product in the market, short-range LiDAR, in uh, 2015. And we are just about to uh, launch uh, Xenon LiDAR, our uh, long-range uh, LiDAR system. Fantastic. So you're here at Autosense in Belgium. What is it you're exactly presenting uh, to the consumers and to the other businesses this week? What, what new tech have you got? A lot has already been told about uh, LiDAR. Uh, everybody's excited about the technology, but many people are also disappointed about it. Mm. So to uh, solve this problem, we are uh, very proud to present a solid-state LiDAR that really works. Uh, we have operational units, we have A samples that can be put on uh, cars with which you can drive around in normal uh, circumstances. And we're uh, very happy to show this to the, the public and to impress them with uh, the solid-state LiDAR, LiDAR data we can generate. So the kind of technology that you're dealing with, I mean, how many other businesses are you aware of that, 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 that deal in similar technologies? Is it a very competitive market for you? Uh, it is a competitive uh, market. There are a lot of new uh, initiatives, uh, but still we feel we are very unique with our solution uh, because we are the only one to offer multi-beam. We measure uh, with many laser beams simultaneously, and that's still uh, an, a very unique approach. And uh, a place like Autosense, uh, this event, what does it do for uh, you as a business? Uh, how important is it for you to be here today? We appreciate that Autosense is very focused on the sensing uh, technology, uh, which is of course uh, not just our core activity, but in my opinion also a key element in the evolution towards uh, self-driving cars. So it's a very focused uh, uh, conference. Uh, LiDAR gets a lot of uh, attention and that's of course what we appreciate most. And I assume that you obviously do a lot of networking with other businesses here. Are you still always surprised when you attend events like this at how fast technology is developing and the other technologies that are sort of coming into the market? It's not necessarily going uh, that fast. Uh, I would say the, the current issue in the LiDAR market is that uh, people do not know anymore w what's happening. Yeah, they uh, do not dare to make choices. Uh, sometimes they no longer see the forest through the, the trees. That, that's a little bit uh, the problem. It's not so much a, a technology problem, uh, but with too much, uh, too much going on, uh, people uh, lose track. How do you tackle that problem? How do you, how do you move forward and push the technology forward? Yeah. Um, we do that with, I would say, our Belgian approach, um, and that approach is by um, putting evidence on the table. And the proof is in eating the pudding. Uh, we are not bringing uh, nice slideshows and big stories uh, based on nothing. No, we have a uh, real working product, we have uh, evidence, and in this way we hope to kill uh, the, the uh, reluctance in the market. And I assume obviously you've had many successes up to now. What are your hopes for the future of the company uh, going forward? Our ambition is unchanged. Uh, we continue to uh, evolve to a tier two uh, position. Um, our ultimate goal is to have our technology into mass production uh, vehicles. Fantastic. Philip, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, plenty more great videos here from Autosense. Make sure you subscribe.